Hey y'all, how y'all doing? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Hopefully y'all doing good. I'm doing totally great. Y'all, let me tell you, around about, I noticed around about 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I get a little bit more lively. I get a little bit more wanting to create wanting to hi hi yeah i hear the bird he flew up he's right there i wish i could oh, he gone now i should mm. so i get a little bit more lively i come outside the the weather is great um the birds are chirping we have a guy that lives across the way and around about this time he plays jazz and good old jazz music like the old jazz music from the 1960s or 70s that kind sometimes he'll play um orchestra music with violins and he plays that around about this time and it really i see i'll come out and sit on my balcony and just wait on my husband to come home and vibe out sometimes i record videos sometimes i want to be in my solitude self in my moments but tonight we recording videos baby okay so in the house i have uh some organic broccoli cooking on the stove um and i'm sitting outside just taking all of this in now we know it's mercury retrograde so they say for me I am in control of my shell. So if you think that, that your day is going to be bad or you're going to have a bad time because it's fucking retrograde, then you need to come to a moment where you need to work on self because only you can move your own energy. Control it. I'm straight, y'all. I'm straight. My scales are balanced. And that's by me. What I'm allowing. All right. That's enough of all of that. Let's talk about a coconut cleansing bath tonight. I'm going to give you a quick spell tonight, right? This is an old hoodoo spell. I am actually looking in my book. So if you see me looking down, that is why. I'm gonna give you the whole entire spell so I'm not missing anything, okay? So this particular spell, all you're gonna need is one fresh coconut with the milk inside, a whole coconut. Um, and then one gallon of spring water, cheapest one you can find, which is cool. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna crack open the coconut. You can use a hammer, whatever tool that you have to open it, but be careful. Um, you're going to pour the fresh coconut milk out into a large bowl, right? Now, one thing I'm going to tell you with coconuts, if the liquid smells like rancy or foul, or if the inside flesh is very slimy, I want you to throw that one out and get another coconut. So if I was you, I would go ahead and buy, they're not that expensive. I would go ahead and probably buy, you know, two or three of them to make sure you have a good one. And then after you get the milk out of the coconut, you're gonna add the spring water into that large bowl, okay? So once you're ready to go take a shower later on that night or whatever, however you do your rituals, you're going to stand in your tub or shower and then you're gonna pour the large bowl of liquid over your head, all right? Then rinse off with cool water. Go ahead and take your, your regular shower, but with cool water or bath. And you're gonna repeat this as often as necessary. Now, this particular practice is particularly good when you are feeling down, when you're feeling confused, when you're feeling depressed. And this is a coconut cleansing bath. Now, when you're spiritually cleansing the, your space, right? Um, your space should be done using all the elements 
which is what? Let me help you out. It's going to be earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Okay? And each element will loan its own type of blessings to the necessary process that you need to go through. And what follows with that, with using all the four elements, are um, simple ways of doing it traditionally or how the old people used to do it back in the day. However, if you have your own special blessings for the elements you would like to use, I want you to go ahead and do it the way you choose, but at least use the elements. Okay. But with that coconut bath, with that coconut bath, it, it will cleanse your mind. It will cleanse your soul. It will um, give you, because I know when with Mercury, Mercury retrograde, with the retrograde, sometimes a lot of my clients, matter of fact, I had one client call me and um, she says she was in the panic mode or fear mode or scared to proceed with something that she was trying to proceed with and i'm like she was and then she brought up it's it's retrograde and that is one thing i don't live by that no i don't live by that one i don't subscribe to that put this back here so but i don't su subscribe to Placing fear tactics about energy. It's my energy. I control my own energy. But that is something that I do. Other people can't. Um, that's hard to do. But don't, mind you, it took me a long time to do this. That, that ain't easy. That's just working on yourself. But I told her, stay in control in coconut cleansing bath. And I was like, well... If she's feeling that way, I know everyone else probably out there in the world is feeling that way if we walk in the path. And let me give you something that you could do that I do. Hmm, let's share it. So this is a coconut cleansing bath, okay? It help you cleanse your aura, cleanse your spirit. Try it, y'all. All right, we're talking about goddesses, too, a little later. So I may be back a little later, y'all. I may not, depending on what I want to do. But right now, I'm about to enjoy this nature. Peace and blessings, y'all.